Hey there, if you struggle with motivation, your energy levels, or your focus, you're gonna to wanna to take a look at this. I've got the brand new Muse S Athena here. They just sent it to me in the mail. It's both a brainwave EEG sensor device as well as a frontal lobe blood flow tracker. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Dr. Cody Roll, a US Navy trained and board certified psychiatrist who now specializes in neurotechnology wearables for brain health and wellness. The Muse headband has specialized using brainwave sensors to teach you how to meditate for the past 10 years and this is their latest device now I've sort of been calling this the Muse 3 because it's the third time that we've seen a major form factor and software overhaul from Muse depending on how you look at things we had the original Muse headband around 2016 and then an upgrade to Muse 2 in 2018 which was similar but more sleek in a lot of ways with similar functionality and then we had Muse S in 2020 which was the second big overhaul and form factor with soft EEG sensors on the headband and the ability to track sleep throughout the night. And then now we have this third big revision and capabilities. So this is the Muse S Athena that now has a blood flow tracking with a red light sensor. And I just tried the blood flow sensor and you guys, this is so fun and cool to use. And I love how Muse has put together a working model in the software to train you for what they call efficient focus by using both the brainwave EEG G sensors as well as the red light blood flow sensor. Basically the idea is that you can rev up your focus brainwaves so with really intense focus you're going to wear yourself out faster. But if there was a way to train you to have really good attention and the brainwaves that reflect that but also burn less energy doing it you could maintain your focus for longer periods of time. And that's the idea. You want to achieve those brainwaves that reflect focus but also do it in an efficient way that isn't burning up a lot of oxygen in your blood flow which can be measured by the blood flow sensor. The app that they've designed for efficient focus is this owl flying game that's really fun and it fits into the whole theme because Athena, the name of the new Muse headband, is the Greek goddess of wisdom and the crafts and is often depicted as an owl. So that flying owl in the app is Athena and that's the name of the device. And I thought that the music and animations for the app were done really great as well. Some other notable upgrades is that it now uses a USB-C charging cable port like a lot of other electronics these days. The other one had a micro USB, which wasn't ideal, so I'm glad that they made that upgrade. And another upgrade that I think that people will be really happy about is that there's new and improved sensor material. It's kind of sparkly on the EEG sensors that are built to last. These don't wear out as quickly as some of the previous Muse S devices. Sometimes those Muse S headbands were wearing out and the EEG sensors wouldn't work as well. Muse does have an exchange program for the bands so that you don't have to buy a whole new module but they're saying that these should last a lot longer without any issues. There will still be a band replacement program for those of you who need it, but hopefully with the new sensors, they won't wear out as quick. With the Muse S Athena, you've still got your four active brainwave sensors, two forehead sensors, and two behind the ears. But now they have that blood flow sensor right in the center of the headband, right behind the module. It's actually a harmless near infrared light that shines into the blood flow of your brain and bounces back. And the information is collected by the sensors and then the headband can tell how much blood flow and oxygen you're burning in your frontal lobe. The fancy term for that is functional near infrared spectroscopy or FNIRS for short. They've also updated the center pod here with a more convenient indicator light on the front instead of the bottom of the pod like the previous model. I know some people are happy about that. The pod still attaches through magnetic clips on the band, but unlike previous models, it attaches right to the band, which solves some gap issues that were happening with the previous Muse S. Now this is really exciting because it's the first time we have a consumer product that really effectively combines both brainwave and blood flow tracking mechanisms. It's also the first time that you'll find modules that train your brain with your eyes open when you're using a Muse. We talked about the first app that is being released and is on the software when you have a Muse S Athena. If you don't have an Athena, it won't show up within your Muse account. You have to have an Athena for it to show. That's the main training app for the FNIRs for now, but I'm sure we'll see more apps coming along the way in the near future as they work with third parties. 
As far as tech specs, the device does have more battery life. It has 10 hours of continuous use as opposed to only five hours with the previous Muse S model. So that's a big upgrade there. Recent new biometrics that have been added to the app that you can take a look at are the mental strength training with Muse S Athena, but also with the previous models, you still have the brain recharge and the cognitive performance score that I've been using a ton lately with a bunch of different biohacking techniques. If you want to learn more about that, I launched my Primal Edge Challenge course, and you can take a look at a link below in the description if you're curious. The main cognitive performance score is the peak alpha setting, which I've been seeing be very predictable, but also highly variable depending on what I've done during the day, and I've learned so much from it. So if you're looking to reclaim your motivation, focus and energy levels, lo lessen your stress, definitely try meditating with the Muse headband or take a look at the Primal Edge Challenge with me. I should mention that the Athena still offers sleep tracking and the digital sleep pill, which I know has been helping a lot of people get to sleep. Within the digital sleeping pill, it alters its audio feedback depending on your brainwaves as you fall asleep, which is pretty crazy. And after using the Muse S Athena for the last week, I'd have to say that the fabric is really soft, it's breathable. So it is something that you could wear at night. I tend not to wear it at night unless I'm doing sleep studies on myself. But I know that there are a lot of you out there that have had some serious benefit from the digital sleeping pill. I honestly think this device is a game changer and I think it'll help a lot of people. If you wanna take a look at the Primal Edge program, take a look at the link below. And there is a discount for the Muse S Athena as well for the audience of this video. So take a look, I'll put a link in the description below. And if you want a deeper dive on how I've been using the Muse Peak Alpha measurements to test and validate different biohacking techniques for myself and my clients, take a look at this video here and I'll see you on the other side.